part 10 we did uh, I think more than a half the work so let's go click on this face and do a sketch now we can use the no we don't have to use section so let's find the sketch here and convert it that view and we need only inside edges so trim outside and let's do a fillet by one okay offset entity is chain uh, 0 0.1 uh, no so let's first do a selection and make them center line for for construction so now we can do offset 0 0.1 and it goes reverse we have to select them again now set 0.1 to inside again offset entity is uh, 0.75 and offset these edges to the inside now <coughs> Let's draw a line here, like this, and delete these edges, this one and this one, and of course these two. So, smart an engine, and this edge goes from here, it goes and it should go from the origin something around 19 you don't have to be precise it also you can put it between 4 and 5 it's really not a big deal so I'm gonna use power trim here also this one and I forgot to offset this edge and it's not chain so offset it up trim again again I'm using power trim okay and here I'm gonna place dimension here again because it's has been removed by some works and fillet one outside point and this one and zero to one five the inside point exit sketch so this sketch should be placed on the right plane so let's go to sketch, right click, edit sketch plane and delete phase 1 and select right plane. So now we can do extract and offset 17.5 uh, this direction and for extrusion is this direction, it goes 20. You should get something like this save the work and here should be uh, now two solid bodies as I have now again we can do uh, now yeah here it goes the sketch on this face and let's again use the sketch of this feature convert entities and Offset uh, three point. Uh, let me just find. Sorry. Three point twenty five. This edge uh, up. I mean a bow. And uh, trim. Now corner. 
and here in the same so delete this line place dimension and offset come on the 75 only this edge trim I'm gonna use power trim same here and fillet is gonna be uh, hmm. so 75 I got okay trim the I, I forgot that I don't need really we don't need these inside edges I'm sorry so fillet five these corners and extruded bus boss whatever to this direction save and let's do a sketch on this face now we go center line from the origin straight up and don't make it uh, like that no make this horizontal and this one vertical of course fitting is this one and this one should be 20 so not 20 it should be from this edge uh, 25 I guess yeah okay and cycle goes like 2.5 radius just mark dimension to be sure that it's diameter 5 and exit the sketch now let's select the top plane and do another plane with this point of the sketch I gotta wait for my PC and select the point do the sketch on the same plane hide the plane so now let's draw something sort of I'm gonna start with a line and by pressing A on my keyboard I'm gonna get arc like this so more than half of the cycle and there and I'm again using the line automatically and I'm gonna make it tangent and now let's just make it a little bit longer than this this one here and we also got that these points are no sorry these two points are coincident top view okay now this radius is 9 uh, this this line is from the left of the origin and it goes 5 also this arc is uh, 28 from the origin well and let's just drag it a little bit up okay no 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 okay there is no relation so 24 from the region wow I'm so precise <laughs> and what's what's missing well actually nothing is missing I guess and uh, here should be should be the one no sorry and delete this dimension and it should go from this go from this edge to to point to 25 and the fillet goes to 25 <coughs> here I think that's it right now okay exit the sketch and select sweeped boss base and 
for the profile select the cycle so we got it and the important thing here options do not merge results okay click OK and we got three solid bodies now let's drink now we got top plane sketch and draw a center line mm -hmm. no don't draw the center line draw a straight line like this and convert this edge and make it for construction so point and the converted edge are midpoint okay and another one here make sure it's vertical so 2.6 from this edge and they are these two are horizontal uh, fillet is 7.5 here and that's it front plane sketch let's see here I think this is the yeah okay front view so something like from this point one small straight line and another one here like this something like that so it goes 7.5 well that's small or it's not small and it goes again 2.6 from this edge and this one is 5 let's make this 10 okay and the radius is again 7.5 okay exit the sketch and let's do a curve, I mean, yeah, project curve, sketch on sketch not face, delete, sketch on sketch, sorry so this is what you need to, to get and now let's do a sweep both base profile, right click selection manager and let's click on this edge okay, wow, well, it's not working why well, it's not working? Selection manager, mm, circuit region, no, no, no. Oh, yes, okay. No, okay. Uh, right click on face, convert entities, exit sketch. Again, sweep and curl. And I think that now we can merge entities merge result of I mean and we are still having uh, no we are why the hell the hell it's merged okay let's change few things here on the curve so this sketch is gonna go free here and here also we are aha uh -huh. so here it was 2.5 and, and it should be 2.6 so put 2.6 and here get it back to 2.6 I thought it was my mistake it was wasn't my mistake, it was fine but it's not fine <laughs> yeah we have three solid bodies and that's it now we can do a 
mirror the bodies so do not merge solids as it says here what the hell sorry let's go to a uh, to this sweep edit feature and do not merge results okay let's again do a mirror uh, no features only bodies so mirror these two sweeps on front plane am i right yes okay now we can use the combine and we are done so insert features combine that's it and we are also combining this with this one so there is not a lot of videos left i hope you guys are following me thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial bye bye